Okay, this is gonna be part two. So what I did was, I got a heck of a mess here. I'm just putting everything in the car here, trying to keep it out of the rain situation. So basically what I did was, I was able to pull the head off, take a look at it. I've actually cleaned the top of these pistons a little bit. And they were kind of uniformly clean, except for this section here in the middle. And you can see where that head gasket's gone bad, right there in the middle section. And yeah, that little imperfection right there on the head gasket too. I can't remember what uh, style head gasket this was, what brand. You can see the block sealer here on the sides. But yeah, that was the problem with it. I'll tell you, those bolts for that manifold were a, a devil to get off. And then finally, for that I had to cut this. There's the EGR tube right there, I had to cut that. And I have a sleeve that'll fit over it. This tube here connects to the manifold from the carburetor. I couldn't get it off from underneath because it was just, there's no room under there. I should probably change that starter. That starter's never been changed that I since I had the vehicle. So that starter, I don't know, I don't know. Another 50 bucks. I took my, I took the motor to, I took the head to the machine shop. He told me it was 150 bucks to check it out, pressure test it, clean it, and uh, or 120 bucks to pressure chest, check it and clean it. And uh, so. Um, Hopefully, uh, it will be good. I'll probably have to put a couple hundred bucks into it. He's going to probably want a couple hundred bucks. That's normally the way the story goes. I could have done it myself, but I just wanted a second opinion on it. Um, I got a local guy who works out of his garage up here. And uh, he's got quite the setup going on. And he's been doing it good probably 15, 20 years. And uh, so I respect his opinion. So I'm going to have him deal with the head and then I'll just bolt it back on and so yeah this is this is the 2.3 the Zuzu and so yeah that's that's what's going on just had that bad spot there in the middle and what I did is I, I mistakenly thought well and I swear I pulled these plug wires intermittently and uh, found that this second cylinder was the only cylinder that was acting up when I pulled the plug wires but Apparently, uh, that it was blowing back and forth. I actually didn't didn't do a compression check on this one. I did a compression check on this one. Then I went to this one, and when I pulled that wire off, um, you know, I thought this was the only one that was giving us a problem. Because when I pulled the wire off of this one, I didn't see much difference. So um, I didn't do a compression check on this one. I should have done a compression check on all of them. I would have got got an idea and anyway I actually had one of those cameras so I had a camera I could have stuck they had them on eBay camera you can stick in your uh, down your uh, your spark plug hole and I could have stuck that I could have stuck that camera in there but I didn't and so I probably couldn't have seen this head gasket in there anyway if I probably looked up in there and saw good valves and everything and the valves didn't actually look too bad and then we got something uh, there was something happening. The head looked, I think the head looked a little bit darker on this part of the, on the head, but I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, it could have been just a kind of a sloppy valve. And I didn't see, I don't see any cross hatching in here. I don't know if it's supposed to have cross hatching. We do have a little bit of, you know, there's a, I can see these lines. There's a little bit of lines inside these. I can feel them too, just slightly. And I've always kept good oil in this thing. Um, I kind of baby this thing for a couple of years, uh, but it's pretty much always had good oil in it. It's got a little. <laughs> so you poured fluid down there and it sticked out. Well, I put a plate on here, clamped it all in, put air pressure into the head, and then and then this plate has holes in it to fit over the cylinder. So then I spray in here and uh, see if there's any cracks or. If, if there are any cracks, they're not leaking. Uh, so I would expect there are probably no cracks. Yeah. 
time, but until I get a class meeting and get under that carbon, I'm not going to know for sure. But oh, okay. I can tell you that it's it's running 110, uh, 40 pounds, 20 pounds of air pressure equals about 110 pounds of water pressure. So if it's not leaking air, it ain't going to leak water. Oh, okay. Uh, and so then I, I rotated it over and flooded the exhaust ports, the intake ports. I sprayed the top and the bottom. Couldn't find any cracks at the top of the head <coughs> or anywhere around the, the edges or the sides. And uh, I didn't get much leakage out of the intake valves. Uh, but I would, you know, based on the, some of the color going on here, that they sh this thing just needs a valve job. And this one, the water slowed out of it. And you can see that it's burnt over here. And so and there's something going on inside of this one, but it's not really leaking. Now, I did... Uh, I did have a carburetor problem, as I have a drip in my carburetor, and it would load up the stop signs. And finally I got that drip, uh, I, I ran it for almost uh, a year like that, finally I got that drip cleared up. And I had an HHO system, you know about HHO, the Browns gas setup thing on them? Well, I had that on there for a couple of years too. I, that was supposed to be good for the, I thought it was supposed to be good for the motor, but <coughs> I don't know if that makes any difference or not. It depends on if what it does to the combustion process. You know, if it, if it leans it out, or, you know, or it makes it get hot. Uh, I mean, but yes. it, it, I, don't I think it makes it get cooler. It, 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 the only way to make it get cooler is to put more fuel in it. And the more fuel is going to cause more wear and tear on the rings and the cylinder walls. Okay. Because it washes off, excess fuel washes off the lubrication of the cylinder wall. There's always a, a, a minute film of oil on the cylinder walls. The rings aren't designed to take it all off. It's supposed to have some oil there. Otherwise, so the rings would go metal to metal or the yeah. <coughs> so the uh, oil splashes up from the crankcase up into the walls? Up onto the cylinder walls, yes, thrown off the crankshaft on the rod journal. Oh, up okay. Up the bottom of the journal. So, the so the there's little holes in the top of the piston that allows the oil to get through it or something? No, no. Or by the side of the piston or something? No, it's just the clearance around the piston and the oh, oil okay. ring. The oil ring, if the piston gets sloppy, then the piston tends to cock at the top and the bottom of the board. You know, because it's changing directions and when it does that, it does this. Well, if, if it's sloppy, it, it does it even more. It causes the rings to go elliptical and they can't scrape as properly as they should. <coughs> and so if the clearance is, is really nice and tight on the pistons, like a thousand and a half, two thousands, where it's pretty much supposed to be, then the piston is barely going to move because there's oil film on the piston that's going to take up that clearance. And uh, But over time, everything rubs to, you know, and, and, and mates up and wears a little bit. And uh, the longer it goes, the, the more tolerance uh, increases. So. so that was the other thing I wanted to ask you is, uh, the because uh, I looked at I looked inside the cylinders I couldn't see any cross hatching. <coughs> well, that's not unusual. Not unusual. On something that's got two hundred thousand yeah. miles. On. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah, it's got like one hundred and fifty. The, 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 the critical part is if you reach down in the bore and you rub your fingertip against the top half inch or so, right. if you feel a ridge going well, around no, there. I didn't. I didn't. I did see a little scarring, a couple of places with scarring up and down. Yeah, it depends on how deep it is. Yeah. If it's just rubbing, it's you know, it's just dirt in the oil is you know, it's causing uh -huh. this. Okay. <coughs> okay. So can I take another look at that cam thing over there? Yeah. So yeah, the, the I know. Wear, there is wear on the on the uh, rocker shafts, uh -huh. but it's not horrible. Because I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. Because I try and keep be religious about keeping the good oil in there and stuff. <laughs> Well, everything's going to change with that kind of mileage, John. <laughs> <Yeah. Uh -huh. coughs> it's nearly impossible to keep the crankcase perfectly clean, but but you know, metal to metal, you know, wear is going to happen. Uh, so, are these uh, are these faces on top? Of this is this called a tappet? No, the tappet. There is oh, no tappet. Oh, no tappet. This. Okay. Your your rock arm's running directly off the end of the uh, of the valve, right. so there is no uh, lifter oh, or okay. adjuster. This okay. is, you just have this adjuster here, and. So is yeah. this this face here? Is that like a hardened face? Yes. That's why you can't like regrind no. it. It's a hardened face. I couldn't. There's no way in hell I could uh, regrind that. It's because it's a crown. The whole thing yeah. is a crown. Okay. And there's no way of grinding it. Yeah. Okay. It would cost more to try to do that than it would just be to replace it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm good for now. Uh, <coughs> so you got the those gaskets and. Uh, I don't know. This is just a theory of mine. I've heard people use this stuff, and it helps their gaskets seal up better. So, I'm spraying this on my head gasket, my manifold gaskets, and just, just a light coat I think would be fine. And then particularly around these center pieces where mine went bad, I'm going to be spraying a little bit more in the center pieces there. And, uh, and so I'm going to, I had an extra set, I was going to... Uh, show you the difference between the sprayed and the not sprayed 
and I would think that would seal a little bit better. That's just my theory. It might work for you. Uh, I've seen a lot of people who spray it on their head gaskets and actually reuse them. Maybe a different kind of head, but uh, I've seen people reuse head gaskets with this stuff here. And so, yeah, that's the update on this one. Yeah. So I was thinking about putting headers on it. Uh, they have headers on eBay for like 150, 60 bucks, but then I'd ha the headers don't have a uh, place for the uh, O2 sensor, and so I'm probably not going to do that. But anyway, yep. That's the Isuzu. And thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.